Hey gamers, and yeah, I know, my mic still sucks, but don't worry, my new mic will eventually be coming in, uh, who knows that, how long that will be. But anyways, today we're going to rank every single Minecraft Mario Party minigame from worst to best. Now if you're new here, I'll try and explain what that is quickly. So I've been making Mario Party in Minecraft, and so far there are 55 minigames. We stream about once a week, and we play with viewers sometimes, so you should check that out. But anyways, now I'm going to rank every single minigame I've created from worst to best. And I should probably explain to you one thing, because if you might be a bit confused. Basically, there's a little thing I added called boost items. And boost items are items that you can use during minigames. Like, for example, you can get a trident with Riptide, or an Elytra, or maybe you can place blocks. Or sometimes you can just spawn in a black hole. My personal favorite, though, is the man behind the slaughter, because you just get to murder someone immediately. The reason I'm telling you this is because in the background footage, you might notice some people use these boost items, and I, I don't want you to be confused, like it's not part of the minigame. So if you're watching and you ever see, I don't know, like Mario attacking somebody, or a freaking black hole, or a purple guy murdering someone, or just a bunch of children, um, just just ignore it. It's not part of the minigame, it was just someone using an item, and I didn't feel like re-recording it. But anyways, now that you know that, it's time to get her ranked. What? I'm just trying to strive for originality here. Number 55, Bubble Bee Brawl. This is the worst mini game ever. Basically, you have an elytra and a bow, and you fly around trying to shoot people, but it's impossible to hit people. I mean, look at the hitbox when you're on an elytra. Number 54, Shell Shockers. There's shells that go around, you have to dodge. It seems like a fun concept, except for the fact that the shells are just complete RNG if they're gonna hit you or not. KFC, a simple mini game where you just shoot chickens with a bow, and that's it. Yeah, I guess it's kind of funny. 52, hot rope jump. Basically, the jump when the white stuff comes in. And the reason it sucks, though, is because there's high ones that you're supposed to duck under, but new players always try and jump over it. They almost always die from it. Also, it is always a draw. Number 51, dizzy beatboxing. Your goal is to get to the middle, but you're drunk. Your camera's spinning like crazy, and you have nausea. If you play this, you're probably gonna vomit. Number 50, dizzy dancing. It's the same idea, but it's slightly slower, so you'll, you'll throw up half as much. Number 49, Totem Pole Pound. This is a timing mini game. You have to right click before everyone else when it says to, and you get a point if you do it. This mini game just gives me a headache because of how hard I try and concentrate. Number 48, Bumper Balls. This isn't always a draw like the actual one, but instead there's a new problem. It's just complete luck. When you hit someone, the in order to do custom knockback, it spawns slimes, but it's just kind of luck and you just get launched at high speeds. Number 47, Sky Wars. The chests aren't random, so some islands are just more OP than others. Also, camping on your island is a guaranteed second place. And, of course, there's no 1.8 PvP. Number 46, Fast Horses. This was originally called Fast Piggies, but the pig speeds were complete random, so we switched it to horses. But unfortunately, the horses are also random, because they randomly giddy up. Number 45, Silly Buffet. You just run around and collect heads for coins, and that's really it. Number 44, Tub Tub Tag. It's like Shine Thief. But there was a bug for a long time where there was just no music, so it was, it was really depressing to play. Number 43, Tile Drivers. You have to fill in the board before the other team. It's a fun mini game unless you're playing with 50 people, because there's always going to be one person that's just placing blocks randomly with no pattern in it, and it just sucks. Number 42, Bob Sled Run. Now, the tier list was made by me and my friends, so personally, I love this mini game, but maybe it's because I always win it because I do this strategy. Number 41, TNT Runners. This mini game is the one on high pixel. Once again, the same as before. I always win this mini game, so my friends probably hate it because they never won before. Number 40, Hardcore Parkour. This map is really well built. Thank you, Hunter, and it's probably the prettiest looking map. However, this mini game is always a draw because everyone gets stuck on the same jump. Number 39, Cake Buffet. Collect the cakes. It's pretty much luck if the cakes are gonna spawn near you or not. So yeah. Number 38, Platform Peril. This one's just parkour, however you do get an item that gives you levitation, but you have to press Q to use it, and most people try and right click it and die. I should probably fix that, but I'm lazy. Number 37, King of the Cake. This is the first minigame that was added, and your goal is to hit people off. I always get targeted in this minigame, so that's why I put it low on the list. Number 36 is Treasure Divers. Swim to the bottom and collect squids for coins. There are explosive bombs that drop on you, and getting hit by them just suck, and 
there's just too many of them. But, you know, I usually get like 30 coins when we play it, so epic. Number 35, Agni Kai. This is a dual minigame where you can shoot fireballs. It's a little quick, but it, it's fun. Number 34 is Christmas Chaos. Give presents to Santa. It's like Crossy Road, but Lightning McQueen is trying to murder you. Number 33, Neko Hockey. It's hockey, but you're cat girls. Number 32, Ice Hockey. This one's better because you aren't a furry. Number 31, Bed Wars, or I guess Cake Wars. I mean, it's Bed Wars. You can't really mess that one up, right? Wait, no, because you have to use Scuffed 1.9 PvP. Number 30, Quick Draw. It's like the classic Western movies, but I never win this, so I'm putting it high on the list. Number 29 is Lights Out. One player murders everyone with an axe while everyone else has to run away with blindness. Not gonna brag, but I'm pretty good at this one. Number 28, Blackjack. Roll a dice and keep making your number higher. If you go above 21, however, you lose. Number 27 is Mega Push. It's just a button masher. I, that, what else am I gonna say about it? Number 26, Button Masher. It's another button masher in the game. Number 25 is Boulder Ball. One guy throws boulders down while everyone else has to try and dodge it and climb up the hill. If you play this game with 10 players, then it's almost impossible for the boulder guy to win. Number 24, Mario Kart. You cannot go wrong with Mario Kart. This one's probably one of the biggest commands when it comes to the amount of command blocks I use. And it's really fun. There's lots of items and stuff. And yeah, it would probably be higher on the list if there was more tracks, though. Number 23, Spleef. I mean, it's Spleef. This one's a classic. I also added bombs so people couldn't camp. Number 22 is Bow Duels. It's a team minigame where you shoot people and place blocks for cover. I suck at this minigame. Number 21 is Gladiators. It's a bunch of 1v1 tournament style battles. This one's great, but it would be better if I could use 1.8 PvP. Number 20 is Desert Dash. Run along a track and don't get murdered by the thwomp. Wow, that's the thwomp's gonna the thwomp's gonna get mad and crush again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Number 19 is Friday Night Funking. This one's great. I mean, it got me a lot of views on YouTube. And also, the minigame itself is just amazing. Number 18 is Friday Night Funking Elite. This one's a different song from the game, and I got better at coding and making sure the notes are accurate and stuff, so this one's just better. Number 17 is Sheep Wars, a game on Mindplex. Capture sheep and put them in your base. A fun little game, but unfortunately I had to use 1.9 PvP, so yeah, gross. Number 16, one block, that's it. One block, that's it, that's all, that's, that's it. It's just one block. Pretty fun, I guess. Number 15 is Slaughter Says. Do what the Slaughter Says, or else. Number 14 is Moose's Coin Potluck. Pick a random cauldron and hope you're lucky. Number 13 is David's Coin Potluck. It's the same minigame, but this time if David chooses the potluck, you lose coins instead of gain coins. These two can be interchangeable. Number 12 is Zombie Brawl. Don't die to zombies or else you become one. Number 11 is Zombie Brawl, but awesome. It's the same thing, but instead of zombies, they are Fanboy and Chum Chum. And the Fanboy and Chum Chum theme song plays. Number 10, Guardian Runners. We are now at the top 10 minigames. Run away from a guardian shooting lasers from you. It's a pretty fun game with some intense Breath of the Wild music. Number 9 is Sheep Game. In my opinion, this game should be lower. It's not really that good, but oh well. Basically, sheep spawn and explode, and you have to avoid them. It's kind of a little bit of luck. The sheep will one-shot you. Number 8 is Hexagon Heat. You can't go wrong with this one. Just jump to the color it says or get burned. Really fun. Honestly, one of the best minigames. Number 7 is Hexagon Heat Elite. The same as before, but if the color purple gets selected, a giant thing of purple shows up and you have to jump over it. It's just a more intense version and you have three lives, so more fun, more better, more epic. Subscribe, please. N number 6 is Item Scrambles. Now, this is Mario Party, so there's more than just minigames. There's the board and stuff with items. You know, you've played Mario Party. There's the mushroom, skeleton key, all that stuff. So in this minigame, you can get items... So basically everyone has to race to the items and there's good items and bad items. So if you're fast, you can get the good items like the power star and stuff. Well, if you suck at the game, you're going to get something crappy like freaking Iggy. Number five is Swanlet Simulator. This is a game of red light and green light. You run around my house and collect props and try and leave while David is looking for you. When David shows up at the window, you have to stop moving or else he will catch you. And yes, this is accurate to real life. David will show up at my window in real life. This is not a joke. Please help me. I am always under the threat of David. Number six is Icebreaker. It's like Spleet, but you get fishing rods and you can try and throw people into the holes. It's pretty fun. Number three is Bob Lobbers. Dodge TNT and explosive maglins. This one's a classic. You can't go wrong with it. Number two is Clown Tag Elite. This minigame is sick. 
Fight David in one of his most powerful forms, Clown David. He shoots lasers, spawns zombies, skeletons, blazes, and even it swaps to regular Clown Tag. The best part about this is you can actually kill Clown David yourself and win a lot of coins. When my friends first saw this minigame, they pogged so hard. Number one is Clown Tag. You cannot go wrong with the original. This minigame is the best example of a perfect minigame. It's just a simple game of tag. If you're hit, your HP starts going down. And if you're hit for too long, you're dead. This is a lot better than the tag in, my, in Hypixel, in my opinion, because in their version, the timer is equal to everyone's. So you can just tag someone last second and boom, they die. Now, nah, this minigame is pure skill. There is no luck. This minigame, the map is also perfectly crafted. You guys might just see blocks, but when I look at this, I see a chessboard of opportunities. This is my battlefield. This is my final destination. And this is my fountain of dreams. In Clown Tag, I'm in full control. And Clown Tag will always be the best minigame. Now anyways, those are all the minigames in Mario Party. I hope you enjoyed. And also, this minigame is actually just a huge ad for my server. So basically, every weekend or so, we're going to stream Mario Party. And I want you guys to join. And now that you guys know what the minigames are, you can stand a chance of winning. So please make sure to join my Discord server or subscribe to my Twitch so you can see when I'm live and join us because it's kind of fun. We had four people join um, last week and it was a blast. We had 10 people on. Let's try and get more than 10 people on the server next time I stream. So anyways, I'll see you gamers later. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It might be a little bit different than my normal videos. And uh, uh, I don't know. Bye, I guess.